I'm Dominic Stevens. This week we've had very strong housing market data for the month of March. Now for most of New Zealand, house prices have been rising rapidly for seven or eight months now, and March was a continuation of that trend. However, for Auckland and, and to some extent Hamilton and Whangarei, there was actually a very strong downturn following the tax and mortgage rate restrictions that came into place last year. March has marked a sharp recovery from that downturn. Now the fact that the tax and mortgage restrictions had only a temporary effect on the market was no surprise, but it's the power of the recovery in Auckland that has taken everybody aback. House prices in Auckland rose 3.4% in a single month, and there's been a surge in market turnover. Meanwhile, Christchurch remains the housing market laggard. Prices there fell this month and are up only 2% over the past year. So what's going on here? I mean, for some time we've had conditions of strong population growth and a reasonably strong economy. My view is that the big change in the last six months or so has been a big drop in mortgage rates. The evidence that lower mortgage rates is playing a role in the housing market lies in the fact that households are taking on more debt. The household debt to income ratio is rising rapidly now and has recently reached a new all-time high of 162% of GDP. What these borrow and spend conditions are going to do, of course, is support the economy in the near term, but they do raise risks about the future. Now, with interest rates clearly playing a role, you do have to ask, well, how is the Reserve Bank going to react to this? For a start, I think the March housing market data does take away from the prospect of the Reserve Bank cutting the OCR at the April OCR review in two weeks' time. It also increases the chance that the Reserve Bank will at least talk about renewed LVR restrictions and the like. However, I think the Reserve Bank is going to be more measured in its response to this data than some of the breathless commentaries I've seen about the place. Actually, if you look closely, the Reserve Bank was already forecasting 12% house price inflation for 2016. Talk to you next week.